JavaScript is a primitive type that I bet you've never even seen before, and that's symbols. So we can create a symbol like this with the symbol function, and it takes in a description, and this is going to be a unique identifier. So we can log out that symbol, and we can see we log it out in the console. But what's cool here is if we create two symbols with the same description, they are unique, so they are different. So if we check if these are the same, they are actually different, but they are both unique identifiers. But then if we did want them to be the same, we can do symbol.4, and what symbol.4 does is the same thing. We still get these unique identifiers, but they're only unique with respect to the description. So because these have the same description, we get true. But if they had different descriptions, we would get false. And so now you might be wondering what's even the purpose of a symbol. And there are a few use cases, but the most common is with an object. So objects can have two different types of keys, either a string or a symbol. And if we use a symbol key like this ID here, well, a few things are going to happen. One, it is guaranteed to be unique. So if multiple places are adding to this object, we can make sure that they aren't adding the same key and overriding each other. But also if we iterate through the object, we can see we don't even see the symbol key. So in a way it's sort of hidden. 